All right, here we go. Another science lesson on Google Classroom. Our learning target today is I can explain how the planets orbit the sun. First, let's review the planets. The eight planets in the solar system. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. These planets all orbit the sun. But what does orbit mean? The definition of orbit is the path the planets take around the sun. So you see these colored lines? There's one line for each planet. And it's showing you how it goes around the sun. Let's watch a quick video. All right, here we have the solar system. You can see all the planets moving. These planets here, the inner planets, are going much faster than the outer planets. The outer planets are going kind of slow. We see Earth is right there. We see Mercury going very, very fast. They all go at different speeds. This is sped up so we can see it, but here they are all orbiting this direction. All of the planets orbit in a counterclockwise direction. This way, not this way. They all go to the left. Around the sun. They orbit around the sun. All right. Let's watch another of the planets orbiting. So, first we have January 2016. January 2016. The planets are moving. They're moving. And now we're in August. We moved seven months. See how Jupiter and Saturn are moving much slower, but Mercury and Venus and Earth and Mars are moving very quickly. Let's see. Now we're in July of 2018, so we've gone almost a year. And they're still moving very slowly. Two months later, still moving. Around and around, all going this way, orbiting the sun. There's the sun. It makes the sun look kind of small. We're in July of 2020. That's this year. This is where the planets are going to be because we know how the planets travel. When they go around the sun, it's been one year. So the Earth is 365 days. Make one year. All the way around the sun is one year. So how do the planets orbit the sun? Let's take this look at a video about gravity. If I told you that you just won the lottery, what would you do? If you're like me, you jump up and down and scream. And after you were done freaking out and jumping in the air, you'd land on your feet, right? But why would you land back on the ground instead of just floating off into space? It's because of a little something we call gravity. Gravity is what pulls everything toward the ground, including you. Without the force of gravity, there would be no life on Earth. Air, water, animals, everything would fly off into space. There'd be no you, no me, no french fries, nada. Think of gravity like the invisible superglue that holds our massive world together. Okay, so gravity keeps everything on Earth. If there was no gravity on Earth, we would float into space and we could not live on Earth. All the water, all the ground, all the people would float away. 
You can't see it, but it's always there. An English scientist named Isaac Newton was the first person to seriously study gravity over 300 years ago. There's a famous story about him that you might have heard. Supposedly, Sir Isaac was hanging out underneath an apple tree thinking, probably partly napping, when an apple fell from the tree and conked him on the head. That's when Sir Isaac had an aha moment. Why did the apple fall down to the ground and not up or sideways? He realized that a special kind of force, which we now know as gravity, was acting on all of the objects on Earth pulling them toward it. Once the apple became too heavy for its stem to hold it anymore, the it gravitational pull of Earth brought down. the apple down onto Newton's noggin. Newton also realized it doesn't matter how heavy an object is either, whether you're holding an apple or a bowling ball or a feather. If you let go of it, that sucker's going down. We're gonna make a whole video about this later. Basically, he determined that what goes up must come down. Sir Isaac was a pretty smart dude. Okay, so you know that if you jump up, you'll eventually land back on the ground. And you know that an apple drop down will land on the ground too. But what if you throw something in front of you, or to the left, or the right? To see how gravity will act, pick up the tennis ball or any small round object and hold it in your hand. Let's toss it in the air and watch it fall to the ground. No surprise here. Okay, now pick it up and hold it over your head. Let go and watch it fall once more. Again, not a shocker. Now throw it to your left. Fall down. Pitch it to the right, and watch it go down again. No matter where you throw the ball, it's going down. So we've determined that near the surface of the Earth, where we all are, gravity is the cause that produces the effect of all unsupported objects falling down. The ball will go up or to the left, or to the right for a little bit, but eventually it's going to be pulled back down to the ground no matter what. Gravity's got a hold on, well, everything. All right, that was a really interesting video showing us how gravity keeps us on Earth. No matter what, everything comes down eventually. All right. Time for you to find your assignment on Google Classroom and fill out the form. You can do it.